Hey everybody, I at chapter 14.2, which is all about types of presentation aids. So the first question you're probably gonna ask yourself uh, when you hear that you need to have a visual or some type of aid in your speech is, what can I use? So this chapter goes over that. So the first uh, thing that you can use is, as a three-dimensional pr uh, presentation aid would be an object. So for example, like an object is something tangible that you can hold. So for example, let's say that you were doing a speech about playing guitar. You could bring in a guitar. You know, the audience can see that. You know, maybe you play around on it a little bit just to demonstrate what it is and how it works. Then, uh, the second thing that you can bring for a three-dimensional presentation aid would be a model. So if, okay, if you're giving a presentation on cars, you obviously can't bring in an entire car into the room. There's no space for that. So you would build like a model car or buy a model car. The only thing is it should be big enough that the audience can see it from wherever they're sitting with, and it won't distract them trying to look for small details. The next thing that you can bring in, and that's a little trickier, is people. So an example of bringing in people would be if you are doing a presentation on dancing, having somebody come in and do a dance for your thing. Now, using people as, an exam as a presentation aid can be tricky because you have to make sure, one, that they don't, uh, you know, that you choose them with care. You need to make sure that they're not gonna try to outshine you and they're not gonna, you know, not listen to you. They need to listen to what you say. You also need to make sure that you plan and practice with them. Like the first time that they do it can't be when you're giving your presentation. You have to know, they have to know what to do and when to do it. And you can also serve as your own presentation aid to illustrate major points. So like I said with the guitar, you can take it out and play and that can be a presentation aid. Now, the next type of presentation aids we're going to be going over is two-dimensional presentation aids. Now, these are the most common type, and they include drawings, photographs, maps, graphs, charts, flip charts, and chalkboards. And few, in the old days, there used to be overhead transparencies, but those aren't really used too much anymore. So the first one is drawings. And drawings are popular and are used all the time because they're simple to make and they can be as detailed or as not detailed as you want. Now, a lot of people will try to get as detailed as possible, but as long as you have a, 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 a nice illustrative sketch, that should be enough. The next thing that you can use is photographs, and that will show people, places, or things that you can't bring in or have a model of. So those are really helpful because it gives your audience a frame of mind and a frame of reference as to what they're looking at and what's going on with it. Next thing is maps, and most are designed uh, to be read from a distance of no more than, th than two feet. So they're not really the best because they can't really be seen from far away. But if you have one, you can blow it up online and go over it with a marker to outline uh, borders. So they can be used, but they should only be used scarcely. Next is graphs, and a graph is a pictorial representation of statistical data in an easy to understand format. And most of them are, are using speeches that are prepared using Excel or Word and then displayed. Um, but seeing the relationship between the numbers is easier to understand than just the numbers themselves. So this is an example of a bar graph that explains uh, you know, something in numerical terms. So bar graphs consist of bars, obviously, that show how much of something there is. Pie graphs show uh, the percentages, line graphs, and the same with bar graphs as the line, and picture graphs use pictures. So uh, charts are pretty similar to graphs in that they explain something in a visual manner. And flip charts consist of a large piece of paper that you can flip and draw to make your point. Uh, and chalkboards and whiteboards are like what you would see in, in a normal classroom setting. So the last piece that we have is uh, PowerPoints and audiovisual aids. So audiovisual aids would be like videos or uh, music, which should only be used when they can fit into your speech and have it in there. And PowerPoints uh, should only be used when, or PowerPoints are good to use because it presents your topic and information in a concise, easy to read manner.